and I believe all you need to do is just wriggle it around a bit and it should go in hell mate guys what the what the I'm looking at it right now. If you guys are used to PC, you know what the f just happened. Like, I used too much thermal paste or something. Like, this is like $300 right here in my hands. I'm looking at it. All the pins look fine and everything. So, I'm just gonna attempt to take it off. Hopefully. I don't do anything wrong. Shit. Like it is on and it's on like real good guys. Like oh my god. Damn. Okay, guys, this is kind of like surgery right now. Like I'm literally risking three hundred dollars right here like i know i use too much thermal paste guys like what the <sighs> hold on guys i'm gonna go on youtube and be right back one eternity later so i'm gonna tell you totally this wasn't planned like i wouldn't risk my processor right now because this is very expensive so i just watched a video and they're basically saying the only reason why it is this stuff is because it is cooled so i need to like heat up my processor so i'm gonna get my blow dryer or something and try to heat it up real quick i'll be right back so guys here's the blow dryer right here you can see the mount right there i'm gonna put it on warm i'm not gonna put it on hot hot and i'm gonna put it on low for now and just take my time to heat up the process let me try to watch the video in the meantime to see what exactly he did All right, guys. So they said, don't do it for more than five minutes. So yeah, I've gone about one minute or something. I'm putting it to hot now. Let's zoom out a bit. So we can have more space to cool. Trust me guys, this wasn't planned at all. Like I'm so nervous right now to be honest. Like so nervous.
I'm approaching the two minute mark right now. I'm gonna do two minutes and 30 seconds and try to look it up. I mean, the heat sink is getting hot, so I think we should be good. So, let me try it real quick. Let me try it real quick for you guys. So. Guys, did you see that? Like, that shit went flying. That shit went flying. I'm just trying to vacuum out all the excess and anything that got in it. guys now seems like we are back on track to be honest um surprisingly so now all we need is some alcohol so i'm gonna get the alcohol real quick alcohol is right next to me and i'm gonna put this aside because i don't want to mess that up get my alcohol here spray on some on my tissue um i got a little bit of alcohol so i'm just gonna pull it and just gonna put it on see I can get some on the tissue real quick right there and I should be able to just wipe most of it away if not all of it yeah you see I'm wiping it away the heat sink is actually still warm to be honest like it is still warm so yeah that's pretty much it guys the heat sink is pretty much cleaned up i'm gonna do the same for the processor i believe all right so for this i'm gonna do a little bit of trick to clean it off the actual processor so i'm gonna put it back in the motherboard real quick to get it to yeah so you're gonna look for that triangle so look for that triangle thing get your processor where's the triangle the triangle should be right there get your processor and just wait you gotta open this right here and get your processor Drop it right into place, bada boom, bada bing, and then locked it right back into place. So now, with that said, you're gonna get more tissue. I'll be right back. Get some tissue, get some alcohol. Don't need this many tissue, but I need a bit of alcohol, not that much either. So get that alcohol on there and squeeze it in don't do too much alcohol because you don't want to hurt your processor and just wipe it off basically guys just gently wipe it off until you can see the name of the processor again So you can see I'm using the Ryzen AMD Ryzen 7 37 3700X which is pretty decent to be honest if you ask
Um, let's just vacuum up the excess. That right there should be good, good enough. So I'm gonna leave it in there for now. Put it back on the table over here.